Well, what's going on guys? Matthew Zaransky, MidwestGears.com, and we're at Mount Cato today. I'm here with Jack, and for those that don't know, Jack runs our Midwest Mondays. Midwest so Monday. probably the first time you've seen him on camera, other than your yeah, like a rodeo or a rodeo. Yeah. And misty. <laughs> Mount Cato's, what do you say about? Depends on where you're at in the cities. If you're on the north side of the city, it's probably closer to two hours. If you're on the south side, it's probably closer to just over an hour. And it's uh, right outside the city of Mankato right outside the city of Mankato. Cool little spot, it's a lot bigger than I anticipated it to be. There's just a lot to explore here. The front face has a really nice pitch to it, it was really fun. Uh, we were lapping that when we first got here, so maybe we should go do that, what do you think? Hell yeah. Let's do it. <laughs> Jeffrey. All right, so tell me, what makes this place tick? What makes it, if you had to like sell it or tell somebody what makes it a little bit different than a, a couple well, other resorts? This has been a ski area since 1937. Yeah. You know, it's a lot like Afton because it wasn't one of the Afton mm -hmm. properties. You know, we have the steep stuff here, but we have the back. We have quite a few longer runs back there. There's something for everybody here. Prime example of stats not doing a place justice. When you look at the back, you're like, holy cow. So, uh, speaking of which, we should go ski, should we? Yeah, let's, let's go, go ski. All right, guys, I hope you guys had a little bit of fun and learned a little bit about Mount Cato along the way. If you want to learn more, we will drop some links below. But until next time, I hope all of you have a great week. Pray for snow, and I'll see you guys next time.